Hey everyone, so in part two of this video, I've gotten the car completely stripped down and it is soaking in the 91% isopropyl alcohol, um, just all the body parts. Uh, if you look up here, I got the couplers, the washers that came off, brake wheel that unfortunately broke on me. I got the weight the deck over here. I'm not going to strip the deck because the only thing that was on it was just a little bit of weathering and the weights. So I don't need to strip that. And then the trucks I have sitting back here. I'm going to keep all the parts that I took off the car until I finish assembly. Um, as you can see already here, I got my toothbrush. And if I go in here, a lot of the paint is coming off. Um, and the Herald, the decals. So already this car is starting to strip down to bare plastic. Um, really is unfortunate that I'm stripping a Sioux Line car. Um, I am a fan of the Sioux Line. So this is a little hard for me to do, but the car was more weathered than I wanted it to be, and it's a blue box car, so something I can practice on. Not saying they're bad cars, but, um, you know, this car was a good candidate for a project to build into another car. And since the Sioux Line area that I'm modeling is actually in Manitowoc, um, the Sioux Line and the CNW both ran their railroads in that area, both had trackage, so having CNW cars in this area will not be too far from prototypical standards. So I'm gonna let this soak and get all the paint off, and I will provide another update later. Thanks for watching.